Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 34 of Let's Platinum Tales of Symphonia. Alright, today, let's head up to Lake Umasi. Um, I think we went there before, and we discovered a unicorn there, um, which had some significance, but we couldn't do anything with that unicorn yet. Um, now that we have Sheena in our party, oh, of course we have to fight something. <laughs> now that we have Sheena in our party, we can actually do something. We also definitely want to build up our... Uh, our unison attack meter again. Ow. Alright, there we go. Now, another thing, this is, if this, I hope this works out in terms of like time. This is probably going to be my favorite episode to date, and I think you guys are going to love it too. Alright, Lake Umasi, let's enter. Let's see what happens differently in here. Wow, so there are still unicorns left on this side. This side? Uh, um, nothing, nothing. She keeps saying that. I wonder if we can make contact with it. Do you intend to make use of the healing power said to exist in the unicorn horn? Yes, exactly. If we have the unicorn horn, we may be able to save Colette and Clara. Really? It is possible. It is said that the healing arts are uh, developed from studying the unic- It is said that healing arts developed from studying the unicorn horn. Uh, then we must find a way to get to the unicorn. But how can we get over there? Can we just swim to it? You won't be able to hold your breath that long. I disagree with this. This doesn't look like the deepest lake. I'm sure Lloyd could do it. <laughs> Damn it. Isn't there anything we can do? There is a way. Sheena? What? We could summon Undine, who exists somewhere in this world, to control the water's mana. Undine? You mean the summon spirit? We don't have anyone who can summon the summon spirits. I... I haven't formed a pact yet. Pact yet. But if I can form the pact, then I can summon... Oh, so Sheena's a summoner! I'm a guardian user, but I can summon too. I heard that art of summoning was lost a, a very long time ago. Well, it still exists. Anyway, if you're not interested, I'm not going to force you. No, we need the unicorn horn. Please, do it, Sheena. Oh, alright. Then let's go to the Seal of Water. And DNA should be at the Seal. The Thoda Geyser? Right. Let's go. That was poorly read, sorry. Uh, yeah. This is quite a detour. Yes. Alright, so, cool. We have got a plan. Uh, Alright, let's read Lloyd's Bad Habit and then I'll get to what we, what our plan is. A summon spirit. Hmm, I wonder how the pact works. I can't wait to see it. There he goes again. Won't you get bored halfway through? Shut up! I'm excited. So I'm excited to... Uh, I'm interested, so I'm excited, okay? It's fine that you're interested. But the problem is the way you get bored with everything. Shut up! Stop ganging up on me! Stop telling us to shut up! We're talking about your attitude! Shut up, all of you! Oh, <laughs> uh, funny. Okay, so one little thing that I kind of screwed up last time was I probably should have gone to Lake Umasi first um, and then made my way back to Palmacosta to get that extra rapier. So I apologize for that, but I forgot, like, I didn't get far enough in my other playthrough to, like, um, figure out that that was coming up after it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to go back. But I do want to do this for several reasons. Number one, um, this, if I can do this in this episode, and I really, really, really want to be able to do this in this episode, um, it's gonna be a lot of fun, because this is, uh, the first time we get to hear my favorite, um, track in the whole game. And I think I'm going to essentially, uh, I'm not going to talk during the fight, I'm just going to increase the volume of the game and, um, and get, oh good, Lloyd's almost leveled. And, uh, so that you guys can hear, um, the awesome track that is the one that's going to play. And I'll tell you the name of it when, uh, when we hear it. Um, the second reason I want to do it is because it's, it's a fun fight, it's not very hard at all. Um, you can easily do it, just, um, like, you can easily do it and you can also get some good grade out of it, uh, if you do it properly. It does take a little bit of practice, but, um, it's one of those that you can, like, if you, uh, if you just keep loading the fight after you're done, um, it's really worth it. Let's change that back to 
Fierce Demon Fang. Uh, yeah, it's one of those that you can just keep reloading. It's a really fun fight to do, and I'm probably going to keep reloading until I get it right. Hopefully I get it right my first go. Um, in my practice uh, yesterday, um, well, I was practicing this last night actually, and I got like 1.7 grade, and then I practiced it like four or five more times, and I was able to get all the way to like 4.8. So I'm pretty comfortable, I'm pretty happy with that amount of grade from it. Um, if I can get it again, that's pretty much what I'm aiming for. Um, and I'm even stronger than I was when I when I did it by like one level. So, and not only that, it gives a ton of experience. So that's another reason to do it. It's like 3,000 experience almost that this battle gives. Um, the better, the more combos you do, the better. Finally, I guess, what's the other thing that's... Oh, the, the kind of the items that you get could be really useful for future bosses and stuff. So I definitely want to um, take advantage of that. I, I don't know exactly which bosses I'm going to be using them on, but if um, they come up, then I'm definitely going to use it. Okay, now this is a very interesting skip. The Pursuit of Strength. Kratos. What? Have I grown stronger? Your sword skills have certainly improved. However, however, you have realized that, that that alone is not enough, have you not? That's why you felt compelled to ask. What strength you seek, what path you seek, no one but you knows the answers. Know the answers. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. However, there undoubtedly still remain even more fighting techniques that you do not know. Continue to fight alongside your comrades and defeat your enemies. You may find your answers along that path. Alright, I'll trust that one day I will find those answers and in the meantime I will start with what I can do now. Wow, that didn't sound like me at all. <laughs> Alright, now this is something that's really cool. We get mastering that was added to the training manual. Yes, it's true. Even at this point in the game, 15 hours into it, and that's like knowing exactly what to do. If you don't know what exactly exactly what to do, that's probably going to take you even longer. You get an additional like opening up of the battle mechanics of this game. So if we head to mastering, we can look at grade, which is now given a, an explanation. It says, battles are assessed by a grade. The grade does not affect the story in any way. It is simply a measure of the tactics used in battle. However, if you keep your grade high, something good might happen. Always excel to get a high grade and continuously improve your tactics in battle. Okay, so it doesn't really tell us necessarily like what it does, but there are a few more things to look at. Let's look at Technical Smash. Now, Technical Smash is another one that I tried to explain earlier. I think this does not a decent job of explaining what it is. Um, so I'll just read it. Um, if an enemy is defeated in battle with style, a technical smash is awarded. Technical smashes improve the chances of getting items after battle, having a more direct effect than the grade. Try to fight with style and get that technical smash. Okay, so definitely, um, I'm fairly confident that technical smash, even though it doesn't say it, that technical smash is related to grade. It helps boost your grade, but it's more related to getting items after battle. So the higher technical smashes that you get, like the more style you fight with, you'll get a better chance to get items. Um, oops, wrong button, sorry. <laughs> Advanced uh, unison attacks. When the unison attack gorge is at max, you can start a unison attack at any time. By utilizing this characteristic, you can start a unison attack, unison attack after a level three special attack, or use a unison attack to escape an enemy's combo. By fully understanding how unison attacks work, they become more useful than just ways to deal more damage. That second part there, using, using a unison attack to escape an enemy's combo, could actually be very, very useful because you could be absolutely like getting smashed by a huge amount of hits and then you can just use unison attack to get out of it. I don't like to do that because it's more like, especially because this is a guide, I like to kind of plan ahead and, and use my unison attack at the end of like a really long string of hits. So, but it is there as a, a useful technique. Uh, and summoning spirits. This is one I didn't know actually. When Sheena is in overlimit mode, she can summon spirits with whom she has a contract. However, by summoning, she immediately loses her overlimit, so be cautious. Now, that one is a bit confusing because I'm fairly certain that Sheena can also summon um, when she's not in overlimit. So, I'm wondering if what they mean is that when she's in overlimit, when she summons, she basically summons instantly. I don't think that's the case. But if it is, that's there too. That's a huge deal. Okay, beautiful. I think I might level after this battle. I'm not doing too good here, but yeah. Oh, um, actually, I have to check if I have a specific title because there may be something that... I, I realized something yesterday, and if I don't have it, then I'll get it in this battle. 
No? Okay, one more, um, one more battle. Status. Okay, we don't have it. Um, okay, so, uh, there's a title that you can get for Lloyd, and I, I feel like I got it during one of the previous battles at some point. I want to fight one more enemy. Come on, let me fight one more. Uh, well, I don't want to fight the weak one, but oh well. Um, yeah, there's a title that I may have gotten in one of my in one of the battles that I redid. Um, but if I didn't, I'll just explain what it is. It's called Boorish General, and Boorish General, the way it works is here on Lloyd's um, R2 and L2. Remember how I said like basically you cl select that, and then you can pick any character and um, do a certain like tell them to do specific moves. If you do that five times in one battle, um, you get the, I think it's five, you get the, the title Boorish General. So um, that's what I'm, I, I, I'm going to be doing that against um, Undine, because spoilers, we're going to have to fight her. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, it, it's going to give me the Boorish General um, title. So that's a good way to just keep it in there, or to just get it while we're doing something else. Did I get, now did I get a move? I still didn't get a move. This is really strange. Surprising. Now let's turn that back on. How close is Genus to leveling? Oh man, he's close, but... Uh, actually, it's alright that he's not going to level yet. There are so many things I have to check before I fight this boss, but hopefully everything works out well. First thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I have absolutely... Oh, and I go to Rain here. I'm going to give her this extra level 2. She's got a really good personal ability. When we're at a save point, you can actually use non-battle TP consumption moves, um, uh, and they'll only cost one um, one TP. So it's yeah. Well, let me read it. Decreases non-battle TP consumption to one at save points, which is really good. Um, having taunt will give her L unison, but I'm not going to use her in this battle. Um, so yeah, I'm just putting it there. I'll show you here. So like, let's look at. Rain. Has anyone lost any health? Okay, Colette's lost health. So Rain has 224 um, TP. If I use first aid on Colette and look at the top right where Rain's TP is, she only lost one. And another one, and another one. There we go. And now everyone's pretty much full, but I'm going to rest up anyway, just because I, I want to be at 100% for this. Oh, okay. I might have missed this one. Born to save the world. I wonder what... Damn it, I didn't read it. <laughs> I don't know, but the way things are now, Colette is suffering too much. No, it's okay, I'm fine. After all, the whole reason I was born was to become an angel and save the world. No, you were born to live your own life, right? <laughs> yeah. I think uh, that skit um, is available Whenever, like, whenever the next time you um, rest at an inn after, let me read this. Actually, I didn't read this. Well, actually, yeah. Whenever the next time you visit an inn after the Asgard Human Ranch, I think that's what you get that skit then. So you were the chosen group. You should have told me. I can't take money from the chosen. Would you like to use the boat? Sure. Thank you very much. All right, cool. She lets us get back to Thoda Geyser. Um, geez, so many things to mention. All right. Um, in order to have the uh, the Lake Umasi thing appear, like get Sheena to talk about summoning and getting Undina and all that, you have to defeat the Asgard Human Ranch, that's the trigger. So you get Sheena first, and then you have to do the Asgard Human Ranch. We still have to do the Tower of Mana, which is the next thing that we're going to do, um, but in order to get the, like to be able to do what I'm going to do now, you have to um, have at least beaten the Human Ranch, that's basically the trigger. You got to take care of a few things first, and then you can do this. Alright, so basically I want to skip all the monsters as much as possible. It shouldn't be too hard. Now, because we've already um, done this dungeon, we can just run straight to where the boss is, and I didn't save before because I knew it was this one here. Alright, time to set up our party. So, unison attack. Well, first, we need Sheena in our party. Unfortunately, she has to be in our party for this, but <laughs> I say unfortunately because she's not that great, but yeah. Uh, we also want to turn off Pyre Seal because um, <sighs> you can go either way. Um, Pyre Seal will basically knock down Undine and stop her from attacking, which is really good, but it'll also prevent us from being able to do good damage to her, so that's kind of sucky. Um, because Sheena's going to be part of our unison attack, uh, you want her to use the highest 
damaging move. She can actually use Summon Corinne, um, which I don't know if that's stronger than Pyre Seal, but I just like Pyre Seal, so I'm going to use it. It won't knock down Undine, it's fine. Uh, Kratos, we want him to be using Thunderblade. Uh, Genus, we want him to use Lightning. It's not super effective, but um, uh, but I like those two moves. Like, it should be technically super effective against Undine, but she's not. She's not weak to, like, anything. She's, like, strong against Water and Ice, I think, so we want to avoid using that. Uh, but we want Genus to use Lightning, we want Kratos to use Thunderblade, and for Lloyd, I'm going to use Tiger Blade. so I'm just going to press forward circle to start off my, um, my Unison attack when I get it. That's going to give me uh, Lightning Tiger Blade, which is going to do even more damage. I think that's pretty much the best thing to go with for this battle. Um, I'm not going to worry about... Um, what's it called? Uh, L Unison, because it just does not... <laughs> for some reason it does not... Um, uh, it does not keep my Unison Gorge full. I think it's just too unreliable. I really wanted to use it, but it's just so unreliable. Um, I will be using Reprise, and this is the best. <laughs> this battle will be so good because of Reprise. Um, what I want to do now is I want to go to Lloyd, and I want to set my R2 to Genus on Lightning, and set my L2 to Kratos on Thunderblade. And basically, I'm just going to keep spamming L2 and R2 throughout the battle. The only thing you want to watch out for is if you start taking a lot of damage on one character, because like Sheena can take heavy damage, even Lloyd, like despite his incredible HP, um, even Lloyd can take a ton of damage in this battle. You want to let Kratos use um, uh, first aid, so yeah, be careful of that. Um, now I have this set to attack same, and that's how, and it worked pretty well for me when I did my test testing yesterday. But I was watching different videos. Of like future bosses and stuff and attack far is actually a really good one too although i don't know that description doesn't make sense it's attack the farthest enemy well i guess i guess it could technically work but i'll have attack same because it worked um yesterday so you want lloyd well lloyd doesn't matter because you're using lloyd hopefully you're using lloyd if you're not you can have this set up uh genus that's what we want um kratos i don't know why he's changed but we want him attack same at once and long range magic and Sheena, we want attack same, at once, and front lines. Um, so, yeah, uh, we definitely want that set up. And we want to switch to all out as soon as we start the battle. I think that's it. I think that's all I need. Um, warrior symbol, heal bracelet. Could I use anything even better? Ah, uh, yeah. Actually, use poison charm because as you can see there, it's actually got um, a defense you have better defense against water so that's actually another thing that's a hidden let's like a little hidden secret there i forgot to mention that because i completely forgot that that was there and someone mentioned it when i was looking up like different strategies and stuff for this fight so that's good yada mirror is still pretty good um not this one for this battle anything else like the stun charm is actually good against light so that's another thing to take note of um he's pretty much not going to be getting hit but let me have a look if there's anything Decks against stun. Yeah, let's give him the stun charm, why not? Just in case he does get stunned. She can have... That's not going to be useful. She can have that. And what's Holy Ring? Yeah, let's go. We'll give her that. Um, she got the best thing on. Yeah, card of Earth. Everything. Strike Ring, Talisman. Yep, okay, everyone's got that set up. Um, and how much time we got left? We got plenty of time left. All right. Um, I think that's pretty much all I want to do. So let's set it up. Let's save, and let's go for this. This is going to be really fun. I if I get this the first go perfectly, fantastic. If I don't, I'll just uh, reload it and do it again. Um, I'm also going to increase the volume. Uh, once we get ready to like, I'll stop the the talking just before we're about to start and then I'll increase the volume and I probably will keep my mouth shut the whole time you just you can just watch what I'm doing and, and maybe I'll explain afterwards all right here we go <laughs> packed packed I must admit I'm interested as well a summer packed hmm. it's easy for you to say I, I might fail you know you'll do fine I mean, I don't really know how it works, but... Boy's right. If anyone can do it, you can, Shita. Um, just to note, it's not... 
the, the game is really low. I can put it up a little bit, but that bloody sound in the... I'll put it up a tiny bit. Let's put it, like, around there. Hopefully that'll be good. You don't even know anything about it. Fine, I'll do it. But don't blame me if something goes wrong and you get hurt. Here we go. Man, I cannot wait. This is... If this goes well... It's just going to look so cool. <laughs> you will possess the right of the pact. I am one who is bound to Mythos. What is your name? Mythos? The hero of the Karlon War? Not only was Mythos a swordsman, he had the ability to summon as well? Mythos is a common boy's name. No, it's not. It's not necessarily Mythos the hero. <laughs> I am Sheena. I seek a path from Dean. As things stand now, I cannot. Don't worry. Why? I am already bound by a pact. I cannot form two packs at the same time. You mean you're packed with that Mythos guy? What am I supposed to do now? They never said anything about this at the Research Institute. Well, what should we do, Lloyd? Uh, huh. Well, can't you just get her to cancel the old pact? How? We don't even have any idea where this Mythos person is. A summon spirit pact requires a plan. As long as the pact maker upholds that plan, the pact remains valid. That is correct. I know about that. The summon spirit approves the pact maker's vow and agrees to the pact. Exactly. Therefore, all you need to do is follow Lloyd's advice and request the annulment of the previous pact to form a new one. It's possible the previous pact maker has broken his vow, or he may have already passed away. Is it really that simple? I suppose you could call it simple, but if the previous pact maker is still alive and hasn't broken his vow, then there's nothing to do. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Undini, I am Sheena. I ask that thou annulst thy pact with Mythos and establish a new pact with me. Before I can allow the formation of a new pact, I must test your worthiness as a pact maker. Draw your weapons. Here we go, guys. Are you ready? We have to fight. All right, I'm not going to be talking. It's time for battle. Let it begin. Best song ever. Here we go. I shall judge your world. This. Ready. <laughs> Very well. Thunderblade. Very well. This could be ready. Damn it. I think I might just let myself die here. To be honest. It didn't it didn't go well. <laughs> I'm just gonna let myself die. That's a shame. I'm gonna lower the volume real quick. Yeah. Basically, it works. Like, this technique works really well. Um, I'm gonna do this. Let's use Kratos. Just kill Kratos. And now, let me die as Genus. That's a shame because, like, it really. The, t the, the tactic does work really well. It's just got the slightest bit of. Um, of randomness to it. it Alright, uh, Oh, she just said uh, it would appear that you're not worthy to form the pack yet. I'll always be here so you can try it again. Um, okay, let's do that again. It's a shame that um, that happened that way. How much time? Uh, Alright, this is gonna be hopefully... I'm gonna fit this in in the episode anyway. Uh, it was going alright, I just... She got off one too many attacks right off at the beginning and 
it screwed me up. Alright, so let's just skip everything here. It's gonna take like, it took me like, what, two and a half minutes, maybe three minutes to get through all this talking. Should only take like 30 seconds this time. Damn it, and it's, the one downside is there's just so much water rushing in the background so you can't hear anything. But the song is the best. Anyway, I'll mention the song. Uh, it's called Fighting of the Spirit. It's probably... It's up there. It's definitely, like, my top five, like, best theme songs. If it's not 1, 2, or 3, because I have another 1, 2, or 3 in my uh, top 3, um, it's the fourth best, like, battle theme I've ever heard. The other three being uh, the battle theme... The boss battle theme and the Sinistral battle theme from the SNES version of Lufia 2. Those are the best songs. Alright, here we go. I shall judge your work. This ready. That wasn't great, but no, it wasn't as good as it could be, but let's find out. Uh, 1.16, that's so annoying. I could get like 4. Uh, I might do it again at the next episode. I really want to get 4. You can you can get that really good. Look at that experience though, 2,806. And I got the title of Boorish General. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that again in the next episode. Um, I think I'm going to end it here, just because... Uh, there's going to be like a lot more talking and I'll add that in the next episode and then I'll I'll basically do the fight at the beginning of the next episode and add the talking after it here. So I want to thank you guys for watching episode 34 of Let's Platinum Tell Symphonia. My name is Ultimate456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.